Hi guys, how are you doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world. And depending on when you get to see this pause. Guys, what's happening with the hair? Hmm? Guys, what's happening with the hair? Anyway, guys, I'm a global influencer. I can do what I like because I don't go around harming people. See? I'm not the kind of person that wants to go around harming somebody else. Yeah? So, guys... <laughs> these dreads eh? these dreads they gotta get thicker 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 every day so i massage them i massage my hair to get the blood circulating guys i don't send anybody oh. i don't send anybody especially the people yeah i do my dreads and then i put my wig on top especially the people yeah who don't have the time of the day for me I know send though. I know send. You, you are doing your own. Me too. I'm doing my own. Eh? When I do my hair a certain way, they think I'm talking about certain people. When I wear certain clothes, they think I'm talking about certain people. I mean, is it possible? Is it really possible for people to stop believing their own hype? Guys, is it really? Is it even possible? Hmm? In the beginning... Obviously, ODG knows anyway, because in the beginning, I had absolutely no idea, even though he's one of them. In the beginning, I had no idea that people were getting offended, thinking that I was talking to them just because of the way I looked. Guys, the reason why I share all of these things with you guys is because I really want you guys to understand because some of you would have been through a situation like this. I just want some of you guys to just observe and share with me how ridiculous, you know, how ridiculous the whole situation is. You know, when you really, really sit down to think about it, you think to yourself, really, do people really have this kind of egos? Hmm? People could be so egotistical where they think you're talking about them when you're not even talking about them. Anyway, guys, as I'm talking, let me let me insert myself in the situation because maybe it is possible that I myself have done the same thing whereby somebody is just somebody's just doing theirs in their lane and then I decide to think, oh, maybe that the person is talking about me. So I suppose we are all among, we are all among. Guys, there's no good person. They're just people. There are no good people. Somebody who I thought was my person said that. There's no good person. And it is true. There is no good person. We all have good and bad inside of us. Huh? We all have good and bad inside of us. Obviously, I'm not Jesus Christ. Guys, I, so many things that I hear, I'll be laughing. I'll be like, like, seriously, like, seriously, you seriously open your mo mouth to say, uh, G you think you're Jesus, like, seriously. But then again, there are people who stand with the school of thoughts that Christ, he himself, he says it, that Christ is actually in all of us. Huh? So Christ in me, Christ in me. Christ in me. I activate the Christ in me. I activate the Christ in me to get the things that I feel will make me a better child of God. Because it's not about religion. It's about my walk with God. But anyway, it's very, very early in the morning. So I need to get something to eat. I get I need to get something to eat now that I'm feeling better yesterday I was under spiritual attack so I felt guys <laughs> those of you that have been going through this thing you know what I'm talking about when I say spiritual attack I'm not talking about I'm not talking about the who has around here that make you know so much ungodly noise mm -mm, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking Physical attack, when spiritual attack, when you know that this is a fight for your life. When you know that it is possible that you might not actually wake up the next day. Mm. No problem. So, <laughs> guys, God is faithful. He is truly faithful. He has always told me that he will be with me to the end. 
no matter what. He also told me that nothing, as in nothing, when I say nothing, I mean nothing. You can go and look up the scripture. Even if you don't know the exact scripture, if you have the sentence or the quote, you can type it. You can type it and search for it online. Once you have found it online, you can get your Bible. I have my Bible, my beloved, well-worn Bible. Not that I have worn, not that I have read every single page of my Bible. That's not the reason why it's so worn. It's just that I've had it for a long time. It is, it is one of the most valuable things that my mother I'm talking about my blood mother. I have one mother, my blood mother. She's no longer with us. She bought me this Bible. I have presented this Bible before. There was a time, those that used to follow me about, they know. There was a time when I used to carry this Bible everywhere. At my lowest point, see, there was one time when I went to the prayer garden and I had it with me. And that day I got soaked. It rained so heavily. That day, that day, the heavens opened. It rained. This Bible, it was like this. Everything was just pressed together. But it's my Bible. I can't throw away my Bible. And like I said, my mom bought me this Bible. Most of the things that she bought for me, I still have them. Yeah? My mother was a very, very fashionable woman. She was an extremely fashionable woman. When I present the things that my mom bought for me, you will know what I'm talking about. Okay. So guys, that is that. I have covered that topic. So, I don't know. Should I call it a two-in-one? I believe I have spoken about... How many things have I spoken about? Anyway, if you're interactive, you can drop a comment guys the clickbait thing it's not as if i don't know that people are doing clickbait because what they do is if they want me to see if they want me to see what they're talking about guys we're just being real with it anyway why am i explaining myself they know me they know the kind of person they are they're talking to they know the kind of person that they're dealing with me i will just tell it to them the way it is straight up so this whole idea of clickbait because you know you want me to see what you're talking about you want me to see your post nothing bad about that especially if it is exciting or if there are people that you feel i should get to know or people i should get to connect with but the idea of always inserting bb's name in it guys <laughs> guys i know that you guys are doing clickbait i know that most of you feel that if you put his name on your post that I will come. Guys, it doesn't work like that. Honestly, it does not work like that. The amount of people that we have in this world. Hmm? At the end of the day, guys, if you're not, if you're not the kind of person who has a deep relationship with God. You might not understand the things that I'm saying. When God says, be still, it means don't worry. It means don't worry. When God says to you, be still, it means don't worry. It means that you shouldn't worry about whatever it is that has been afflicting you. Whatever it is that has been bothering you. Guys, when they say activate your faith, faith is the belief in things not seen. Hmm? Guys. When God says to you, be still about whatever it is that has been bothering you. Guys, if you're somebody who truly loves Jesus, if you're somebody who truly loves God, if you're somebody who truly has a genuine relationship with God, Abba Father, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. If you truly have a relationship with him, when he tells you to do something, you will do it because you have to walk in obedience. Hmm? You have to walk in obedience. Hmm? Your relationship with God is not about anything that you're putting on. Listen, so many lies have been sold to us. So many lies have been sold to us about the supreme, the supreme being. I call him Abba Father. 
because that is the relationship that I have with him. The relationship of father and daughter. Because there is nothing, there is nothing under creation that I would not talk to God about. Hmm? It did not start today. It did not start today. I have always been like that. Because I found myself in a situation whereby I just knew that I couldn't speak to certain I couldn't speak about certain things to certain people because they already erected these barriers. Some of you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Hmm? Some of you will know exactly what I'm talking about. You know when you're with people and they erect these barriers and then you're like, okay, so this area is a no-go area. This area is a no-go area. This, and you're like, okay, but something is bothering me. Something is bothering me deep in my marrow, you know, and I need somebody who, you know, who can direct me, who can give me information about this thing. Hmm? Most of us found ourselves in the position where our friends, let me say it again. Most of us found ourselves in a position where it was our friends. Our friends were directing us. Listen, I know that I'm not the only one. I know that I am not the only one. We found ourselves in a position where it is our friends that will be directing us about this thing, about that thing, about that thing. But but they weren't qualified. They were not qualified to give us that information. So what happened? They ended up leading us astray. Listen, peer pressure is real. It is real. It is real. It is real. I have been through it. Mm? So many things that we are introduced to. So many things that we do. Where did we learn it from? We didn't learn it from home. We learned it from outside. So... Me, I don't know. I I have surrendered everything to God because he has asked me to be still. If God says to me, tomorrow, I'm going to give you A, B, and C. Fine, no problem. I will collect it. Because I know that when God arrives for you, hey, you will know he has shown up. When God decides to show up for you in your life, oh my goodness. Mm? You, you, you will see people around you, they will start to feel uncomfortable because they can actually see that God is blessing you. Mm? If you see God blessing somebody else and you say to yourself, mm, I want some of that, talk to him. He is your God. He is your creator. Before you even open your mouth to speak to him, he already knows what you're going to ask him. Mm? Before you even open your mouth, uh, Abba Father, please, could you give me, I don't know, could you give me 20 pounds? I want to go and get so and so and so and so. Before you even, before that thought even arrives, develops in your brain, he already knows because he is God. He is supreme. There is nothing. There is nothing under creation. There is nothing under creation that God does not know about. He is all-knowing. Hmm? You cannot limit God. You cannot limit God. Do not put your human limitation on God. God is supreme. I don't know what you call him. I don't know what you call him. But God, the God that I serve, the God that kept me alive, my name is Anu Sanga. I am 52 years old. Guy, so many people never thought I would make it. Huh? So many people wrote me off. They wrote me off long, long time ago. What am I talking about? They wrote me off long, long time ago. Huh? Have you ever been in a situation where you say to somebody, I want to do this, this and that and that. I, You know, I feel like I can do this and that. And then they just, I, I call it the look. And then they just, they give you a look. You don't understand that look. You don't understand what they're saying in that look. Unless God gives you the spirit of discernment. Yeah? You let her go and you say, oh. Guys, I was just a very, very naive person. Mm? I was just a very, very naive person. Yeah? That's why some people call me baby. Because they say that my thoughts are babyish. My actions are babyish. But it's just... 
certain things I just don't expect or I didn't expect from certain people. So God, he gave me that sense of awareness. If you're one of my spotters, you will remember on Instagram when I was always talking about awareness. That was the time that my eye was beginning to open. The time that I used to talk about awareness, awareness, awareness all the time. Guys, if you can relate, you can drop a comment. If you like this kind of content, smash the like button, subscribe, tag, share, do all that great stuff because there's going to be more of this kind of stuff to come, you know, where I share life lessons with you guys. I'm talking about lessons that will actually change your life because I am going to give you tips and I am going to share my story. I might even share some things that I've never shared before with you guys. The time that I kept on talking about awareness, awareness, awareness on Instagram. Guys, if you want those posts, you're going to have to go to Insta because somebody like me, I ain't give a fuck. Oh God, sorry, sorry, daddy, sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Abba Father does not like profanity. He does not like profanity. Mm, we are constantly working on my profanity and my need to swear. I don't really need to swear to emphasize the point. But guys, when I was on Instagram, I was talking about awareness all the time. Eh? You know when you reflect, when you look back Now I know why I was talking about awareness all the time then It's because God was opening my eye hmm? God was opening my eyes to many, many things that were happening around me So I was talking about awareness all the time Because I was, you know, I was getting a deeper understanding of certain things in my life Certain things about life in general, certain things about me and certain things that were happening around me. Because I knew that things were happening around me. It's just that I didn't understand the nature of the things that are happening, that were happening around me. Guys, some of you are in that situation whereby there are things that are happening with you in your life to you. Things that have happened to you in the past, but... You just don't have the awareness of what has happened. If you're in that situation, you know, you have that feeling that mm, something is occurring, but you're not quite sure of what it is that is occurring. This is what you do. Pray. If you're somebody who is not familiar with prayer, if you're somebody who, I don't know, has some sort of problem or prejudice about prayer, guys, people have all kinds of prejudice. Some people are ashamed to pray. Yeah. Some people are ashamed to pray. You wouldn't believe it. But anyway, before I go off on a tangent and forget what I wanted to say, if you are somebody who feels as if you will feel it in your spirit that something is happening in your life, maybe in your relationship, in your marriage, I don't know, in your family, you know, you will just have that sense because God will put it in your heart, in your intuition. You will have a sense that maybe something is not altogether right, you know, about you, about your life or whatever. Guys, take it to God, especially if you are somebody who believes in God. I don't know how far you are in your work with God, in your walk as well with him. That is not up to me. That is between you and God. But if you find yourself in that kind of a situation, if I am talking about it, it means that there is somebody or there are some people who are in that situation. Pray to God. If you're somebody who is unfamiliar with prayer or if you have some kind of problem, you know, some kind of prejudice stigma, you know, towards prayer, get your pen and your paper. Those of you who are my lovely spatters, you know now, pen and paper, hmm? pen and paper, because the reason why I started with pen and paper is because I learned it from one of my mentors, one of my mentors, I think it was Napoleon Hill. If you don't know about Napoleon Hill, you can check him out. I don't want the video to be too long. Otherwise, it's going to take me ages to load it. And I just want to go outside and get a few things. So anyway. What you do is you get your piece of paper. You get actually get yourself a whole notebook. Get yourself a notebook. Get yourself a fancy notebook. Yeah. Spend money. Spend money. Actually, 
just buy something that is nice you know something that appeals to you something that is quality the reason why i say this is because when you get yourself a nice notebook you will be you'll be careful about the way you treat the notebook and you'll be careful about the way you write you know the way that you present the information you understand what i'm saying so you get it and you say to your god basically speak to him with your whole heart and mind i have said i have done so many videos around this kind of topic around this concept around this ideology i have done so many videos about this topic i don't know what it is that you want to i don't know what it is that is happening in your life we were talking about awareness that feeling that something is not quite right about your life or the feeling that something is not quite right about somebody you know you've encountered somebody you know etc etc <clears throat> One second, guys. You know. Woo! Okay, guys. This is Mrs. Videographer doing her videography thing. So, guys. Yeah, you have that feeling. So, get your paper. Just open up your heart. Open up your whole heart and mind. And write down every single thing. Every single thing that is occurring with you. Everything. Just write it down. Eh? See it as if you are writing a letter to God. All of the things that you are writing, he knows already. All of the things that you are about to write, he already knows. But you actually taking that time to write it down and present your case to Elohim. The ultimate judge. We all know that there's so many things that happen with us that we cannot actually speak to another human being about for whatever reason. That is why I am saying to you, if there is something that is happening to you in your life, in your reality, that you feel is not right, but you are not actually able to identify exactly what it is that is not right in your life. Guys, do this exercise. There will be testimonies. Even if you don't come back and tell me, and this is what happened, or that is what happened, there will be testimonies. But if you are one of my spotters and you like me, you like the way I behave, you like the way I carry on, you like my beautiful random personality. <laughs> hey, good. All you need to do is just subscribe. Guys, there's going to be so much more of this coming. Mm? The kind of information that you can just go back to the video, revisit the video with your book, your pen and paper. Even if you don't want, to, even if you don't want to write things down, just keep revisiting these videos, and you you will unpack so much information. Mm? Just tips and tools on how to live your life, because like the man said, I've seen a lot of things. 52 year old woman i've been through so many things i've seen a lot of things certain things that i experienced i experienced because i wanted i wanted to be in a relationship so bad and i wanted to be in a fairy tale relationship you know that couple that has been trending this couple that is so in love it's so odd that it should trend. It should actually be the norm that couples should be in love. It should be the norm. But, hey, God is still in control. God is still working. This couple that love each other so much, they have been trending. Obviously, God wants to show people that it is possible for married people to be happily married and deliriously in love with each other. That is the way that it should be. Remember Abraham. Remember Abraham and Sarah? They absolutely adored each other. Eh? Absolutely adored each other. It is possible. I'm sick and tired of this narrative of oh, marriage is this, marriage is that, marriage is that. Sometimes I feel that the more the more we keep on saying this thing is bad, the worse it gets because of the power of the spoken word. Hmm? 
those of you that counsel about relationships and teach about relationships, hey, feel free to teach us about relationships because I am with that trending couple, the ones that are in love with each other. I do not want to be in a marriage that is not on fire in a good way. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I cannot be in a relationship. Eh? Relationship that leads, if God ordains it, God's, God's divine ordained relationships. Relationships that lead to marriage. Eh? Relationships where you actually say to yourself, God, I am not going to sleep with this person until I actually get to know this person's character inside and out. Hmm? God, bless me with the kind of man who, 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 who just sees your own essence, who sees the greatness in you. Bless me with the kind of man that sees the very essence of who I am. Not the kind of man who feels that he has to satisfy his libido with every single thing that moves. Abba Father, I reject cheating men. For myself, for myself, I reject cheating men. For myself, for my life, for my relationship. God, if the man is not ready to settle down, let him continue in his ways. You have told me to be still. If he is the kind of man who feels that he can never ever settle down, then Abba Father will bring another, the one who actually wants to settle down, knowing that settling down with the right person that God ordains for you is never a chore. People are coming from the perspective of looking at relationships with one person. People are seeing it as a chore. Yeah, that's how people are seeing it. They are selling relationships to us with a single person. A lot of people are saying, how is it possible? How is it possible to be with one person for the rest of my life? Guys, how did we get to this point? How did we get to the point where people are actually saying it's not possible for me to be with one woman for the rest of my life? It's not just men. There are women who feel like that as well. How is it possible that we're getting to the position of even women? Certain women feel the same way as well, that they don't want to be with one man. Guys, I look to God, my father, for my understanding. If this man is supposed to be the man for me, then everything will work the way God wants it to work. I will not manipulate the situation. I cannot manipulate the situation, especially if he feels like he still wants to be out there sleeping with other women. Huh? Guys, if a man decides he wants, if a man decides that he still wants to be sleeping around, even if he gets married to you, he will still be sleeping around because he has not decided to stop that particular behavior. So guys, this whole relationship saga, relationship thing, I have handed it over to Abba Father, my Elohim. At the end of the day, if this man was not famous, none of you would give a damn. Hmm? At the end of the day, I keep on saying this so, so many times. At the end of the day, if he wasn't a famous person, you guys wouldn't be invested. You wouldn't give a damn. The reason why you give a damn is because you think to yourself, look at her and look at him. <laughs> huh? We are talking the truth. We are telling ourselves the truth. Hmm? We are telling ourselves the we are telling ourselves the truth because people come to this channel because they know I will tell them the truth. I can chower. I can chower. I can chower. I will tell them the truth. I will not hold anything back. If Abba Father my Elohim 
says that BB is my husband. Nobody will be able to take him from me. Do you understand me? If Abba Father, I'm talking about Abba Father, people think that they can be loud on video. They have not met me on a good day. Eh? They have not met me on a good day when I decide to bring my global influencer swag. Mm, their papa, I did this thing from my house. Mm? Eh? Their papa, I did this thing from my house. Yeah, you feel me? I became a global influencer worldwide. Why they talk to anybody? Eh? For this my cabal, yeah? For this my house why there, eh? Who you be? Eh? Who you be? Who you be? Eh? Swaga, swaga lo mo. Swaga lo mo. I no sanga, I no sanga na me they talk, eh? Na me they talk. Your swag you no know, pass my own. You only be say you get, you get coins, you get small change past me. Hmm? Now the thing where they happen now, eh? You they hear me so? You will not pass me for anything, oh. You not pass me for anything. Now only money. Now, but Abba Father, he has answered me. Hmm? Abba Father, my Elohim, he has answered me. He told me that I will have money nyafu nyafu. Eh? If you don't know the meaning of nyafu nyafu, you can go and ask your Nigerian friends. Eh? Abba Father told me, me, hey, with my full chest, oh, with my full chest, he told me I will have more money than the richest of them. That is why I'm doing this video. I am doing this video. I the para, I they make noise. Eh? Nigerians, they think that they can talk because they're in Nigeria. Hmm? We Nigerians that are here in London, na Nigeria we from oh, na Nigeria we from. No feel say because we dey London now we dey form. Me I not dey form anything. I know they form nothing for no bagger. I am doing this video here so that you people, when my money arrives, hmm? when my money arrives, when I become rich, as in money nyafu nyafu all the way, you people will revisit this video and you'll be like, okay, that girl is not crazy after all. She actually manifested what she said. In final, in conclusion of this video, God said I should not worry about anything. If you guys want to be using uh, BB to be doing clickbait all over the World Wide Web so that he can be watching your videos, that one is your business. Eh? That one is your business. Bibi, he has been observing me for many, many years. He knows my head is not correct, too. He knows me very well. My head is not correct. He's talking about having children. I did not ask him anything, oh. I did not ask him anything about having children, oh. I never asked Bibi, not even one day, I never asked Bibi anything about having children. Why? Why would I ask him? Hmm? Somebody that I've not even met. <laughs> hey! Hmm? These people, huh? Eh? People, these people, troublemakers, they started playing one music. They started playing one music. Eh, I won't burn. 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 Eh, I won't burn. 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 Eh, I won't burn. Eh, I won't burn. Eh, I won't burn. I won't burn. Eh, eh, eh. They started playing this song. I won't burn. I won't burn. I won't burn. I won't burn. The minutes they started playing this music, I said, these people, interference is their problem. These people have started again. Uh, Bibi, Mbo, babes, stop allowing these people to manipulate you. Eh? Bibi, stop allowing these people to manipulate you. Hmm? Abba Father said, be still. Mm, you collected your message. Abba Father called you directly for your birthday. You have collected your message, and that's all I'm worried about. Yeah, Abba Father said, "Be still." That is what he said. Be still. Be still means be still. So I am still, even though I'm doing the video. <laughs> Guys, let me end this video here. Mm. One last thing. Mm -hmm. One last thing. One last thing. One last thing before I end this video. Guys, I saw I saw this pamphlet. Community Champions Kilburn. Yeah? Community Champions Kilburn. See, I'm just checking the time now. 34 
34 34 so guys i'm just gonna end the video now because it's too long but anyway guys please check out these guys if you want to be a community champion if you've got a child that's been playing truant and you want them to get involved in things in the community guys check this out thank you